Recently we went to Seiko and Grand Seiko's boutique in London. We've already covered some of the best Grand Seiko models, so today we'll be looking at the best Seikos we could get our hands on. We asked the store manager for the most popular models, and then we added a couple of extra ones that really caught our attention. There's a Seiko watch for everyone, from a fun Seiko 5 to an elite Grand Seiko Tentagraph. Whether you're a seasoned Seikoholic or a watch enthusiast on a budget, check out watchgecko.com where you can find the perfect watch strap for your timepiece. Link is in the description below. Let's start with my personal favourite, the Special Edition Seiko Prospects SRPF 77. It has a very distinct ocean aesthetic. The name Save the Ocean Special Edition gives it away a little. I love the engraved manta rays leaping out of the water when you hold the watch at the right angle. I was surprised how well the oversized cyclops covering the day and date works and how Seiko have managed to integrate it beautifully into the lens. I love the 1970s vibe of the case. The way it's designed like a cushion makes it very comfortable on the wrist and the Seiko community have nicknamed it the turtle. You can definitely see a resemblance to a turtle shell. During my visit to the Seiko boutique, I noticed something interesting. In addition to the names and prices of the watches, Seiko has also included nicknames for each watch. As I looked around, I saw the Tuna, the Samurai and the Turtle. We love it when a company acknowledges the nicknames their fans are using. Going back to the SRPF77, inside we find a 4R36 movement, which is essentially a Seiko NH36, which is a decent movement with a 41 hour power reserve, and the watch also has 200 meters water resistance. It's a big watch coming in at 45 millimeters in diameter and 13.2 millimeters in thickness, but the case design makes it surprisingly wearable. For 550 pound, I think you get an absolute bargain. I really wonder if Seiko are actually making any viable profit selling this watch. Staying with the prospects and diving, we had a look at the SPB1 145, which is a more compact 200mm diving watch coming in at a 40.5mm case diameter. It's double the price at £1,100, but inside we find the 6R35 movement, which is an upgrade, especially with that 70 hour power reserve. The sunburst style is cool, but I personally still prefer the manta rays. But there's another great prospect that's more interesting because it's a chronograph. The Seiko Speed Timer SRQ039 is a minimalistic automatic chronograph with a lovely blue dial. Prospects watches are professional watches and Seiko has a rich history in terms of timings, dating all the way back to 1964 where Seiko became the official timer for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Inside the watch we find the Seiko Caliber 8R46 which is designed to be as precise as possible. As a bi-compact chronograph movement you'll find the second subdial on the right and the 30 minute chrono subdial on the left. There's also a respectable power reserve at approximately 45 hours. Definitely one of the more elegant looking Prospects watches out there. Each Seiko brand is unique, but there is something special about King Seiko. We had a look at the SPB287, which is a premium watch for £1,560. Since 2017, Grand Seiko became independent from Seiko, so in the last couple of years, King Seiko was revived to take the place as Seiko's higher end watch market. In reality, the King Seiko bridges the gap between Seiko and Grand Seiko. Originally the brand was popular in the early 60s and that is reflected in the design language. The watch head is smaller, only 37mm in diameter, and the style of the bracelet is reminiscent of that era. King Seiko was born of a desire to create a precise mechanical watch, then Grand Seiko stole the spotlight and became the front runner of precise luxury watches. Inside the SPB 287 we find the Calibre 6R31, which is a straightforward three hand movement with a 70 hour power reserve. The dial is stunning, but is it worth over £1,500? You can get similar movements as well for almost half the price. Next meet the Seiko SPB 227, otherwise known as the Pressage Sharp Edge series. For around £880 you get the Calibre 6R35, which is Seiko's precision movement with a date wheel. I think this is a better value watch if you want a 6R series of movements with 70 hour power reserve. The watch is a tad bigger at 39.3mm in diameter but only 11.1mm thick. The design is more modern than the King Seiko and the dial is more eye-catching, especially the Seiko logo is more pronounced with its own background. The Seiko Pressage models are affordable dress watches that look amazing. But if red isn't your thing, we had to look at another stunning timepiece. The Seiko Pressage Cocktail Time, or SRPB41, coming in at only £349, this is almost an impulse buy. The dial is the definition of a sunburst dial. 
Inside we find the 4R35 movement, which is a 41 hour power reserve, and overall this cocktail watch is slightly bigger than the red one, coming in at 40.5mm in diameter and 11.8mm in thickness. If you need a dress watch, and you're on a budget, then I think the Pressage is a perfect candidate for your next evening function. Probably one of the best value Seiko watches out there, the Seiko 5 Sport with reference number SRPJ45. This SKX Seiko 5 is an affordable alternative to the Prospects. It features the same caliber 4R36 for only £290. The water resistance is only rated for 100 meters, so you won't be able to do anything too crazy in the water, but it's ideal for everyday use. The Seiko 5 has a transparent dial so you can see the day and date wheels and the colour they've used is a lovely light blue that in person, as opposed to a web view, is stunning. Seiko is such a big corporation but they still manage to stay grounded and cater for every level of watch enthusiast. I feel now I'm becoming a Seiko fan but more important, which of these Seikos has grabbed your attention? Let us know in the comments down below and if you want to see some amazing Grand Seiko watches, have a look at our Grand Seiko video that we recorded when we went to their boutique in London.